Hi YouTube. Uh, this is actually the last step of diagnostics of my uh, backlight repair on the 2019 MacBook Pro board. Model number of the MacBook is A2159 and the board number is A2001598. So it got uh, scratching my head a little bit. Uh, I had a little bit of uh, liquid on actually on this array of elements right here next to the backlight driver. So I cleaned it up, everything seems to be fine. I uh, touched up the resistors, you know, everything looks fine. You know, all resistors tested fine, no issues there. Still no backlight. I replaced the backlight driver, still no backlight. So I went, uh, uh, opened up the, uh, the schematics and start checking the voltage and stuff. As you can see, I'm gonna start it up. I did not fix it yet, but I think I got to the point where I can fix it. I just wanna go with you over it. Let me see. See, Apple logo, but no backlight. So I can shine a light, there's Apple logo, but no backlight at this point, okay? So uh, I went through the schematics and uh, what we see here is, I'm getting 12.6 volt here and I'm getting 12.5 volt here, which is not normal. I should be, it should be low, it should be zero. So for the voltage to pass through, you know, for the boost circuit, uh, the gate has to be zero, zero volt. So the, uh, the, the backlight driver have to pull it down in order for the, uh, for the voltage to pass through from here to here. And I was scratching my head and checking, I was checking the resistance. I want to make sure, I want to make sure I have, uh, I have, uh, uh, I don't have any broken connection between the uh, backlight driver and the R8400 uh, uh, resistor. You know, all, all, all legs are fine. You know, all the connections are fine here, you know, on both sides, four and three. 9 and 10, everything's fine. I checked, you know, checked around, everything's fine. And then I started checking, uh, actually what got me thinking, I started checking the clock, uh, the clock, um, the clock line, clock and data lines for the LCD to see like maybe there's something, something going on there. So, because, you know, I, you know, as I said, you know, I had, uh, I had liquid damage in this area, okay? But all these resistors, you know, perfect resistance, no issues, no issues here. And I started checking the uh, I2C clock line and I2C uh, data lines, okay? And they should be coming all the way to the LCD. So they're receiving the signal from the LCD for the uh, backlight driver to, uh, to do its work, okay? So this one, this one, I had a continuity from this, uh, from this uh, uh, test point to this uh, um, uh, capacitor, which is, which is uh, no stuff there, so there's no capacitor there. Okay, this continuity was fine. I'm gonna show you real quick, actually. Uh, and, uh, okay, as I said, this continuity is fine. And this continuity, which is a data line, is not, you know, there's no continuity there from this point. However, from this test point to the uh, to the resistor, there is. So that's why, like, I check there, you know, you know, because usually the via, usually the via is actually on, you know, under the test point. So that's what I assumed. But on this board, I was actually wrong. So let me show you, you know, what I'm what I'm talking about here. And let me actually switch back to the. Here and I'm gonna show you real quick my measurements. Okay. So as I said, I'm checking the continuity first for the uh, clock clock line. Okay. I think it's this one. No, it's the, it's the second one. Okay. See, I mean this is normal because my my. Uh, my 
test points have a resistance as well so that's continuity that's that's totally normal okay once again clock line for the lcd fine okay now data line nothing you see okay so now i'm gonna go under the microscope and i'll show you what the heck is going on here and actually i'm gonna probably fix it at the same time and we're gonna see if if what i think it is actually is okay okay so here we have our test points okay as i said there is continuity for the data line from here to here no issues okay but looking closer as i said i had liquid in this area and there is another line coming out of it which i did not mention in the beginning as you can see there is another uh let me get i mean you probably already see it but anyway this is it so there is there is, see this this line this line okay and that and that i think is the via for the uh, for the data line that goes all you know to the next to the lcd connector okay and what i think it what's going on here is actually you know it's it's a broken trace there so there is no connection so let me confirm that actually because it should be coming out and it should be a connection so it should be connection between this point or this this point and this point which is a via okay so let me just scratch it a little bit okay so i just want to test it out okay so let me put it in the diode mode so you can hear the beep okay so so there's no connection okay no beep and here see hear the beep so there is a connection but there is no connection to the via so that's what i think is wrong with it so let me go ahead scratch it up a little bit yes you see this actually is a broken trace right there so it's just a corroded trace that i m missed in the very beginning and that screwed well, I actually spent a little bit. I mean, I spent like about an hour figuring out what's going on here, to be honest with you. As yesterday at night, it was like 10 o'clock in the evening. So usually at 10 o'clock in the evening, my head doesn't really work well. So today in the morning, you know, it, uh, it was a lot faster. But let me... Let me connect this line real quick. Okay. And probably have to run, have to run a jumper there. Doesn't make it easy. That's okay. So we're gonna run a little jumper here and hopefully i'm pretty sure this is gonna fix my issue i'm pretty sure because everything else is checked out fine and this is like a usually when you get to the point where like you see you know you kind of okay it should be continuity here it's not here so yeah that's all it is so it's not like a Not something you like stumbled across by accident. Okay, so, or clean the board or anything like that. Of that sort. Okay, so now let me clean it up real quick. We're gonna test for continuity there. And we're gonna plug it in.
we're gonna plug it in and see what's going on okay so now let me test the continuity once again it's in a diode mode one probe goes here see so we have continuity and obviously let me test it out i'm gonna i'm gonna test it again let me switch it back so now we're gonna test again the continuity on this side okay the one i was checking before okay so for the data line yep so now we have a continuity for the data line that goes to lcd and the moment of truth moment of truth do we have backlight or we don't have the backlight come on yay so what we learned from this one make sure to check all the lines so i mean i don't know like what's the what's the take out of this the main problem is that the missing data line i2c data line from the uh, backlight driver to the screen will not get your backlight working okay i guess i mean that's what it is so guys thank you very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe and hit that like button because i mean it might be definitely helpful because as i said you know i missed that via completely i didn't even you know i didn't even see because as, as i said usually it's on a test point under the test point you know the v is under the pet test point and so i didn't even pay attention but that's like you know it's like another another little line coming out that goes to via to the lcd so that's very, very interesting one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Slava Ukraine. And live Belarus.